So Nani, you know, you wrote a story on Acidic, right? Malaysia's first truly halal financing platform. But before we get into that, what does it mean to be truly halal? So to be a truly halal platform, it means that your platform has to be free of any unethical elements, mm -hmm. be it usury or interest or any sort of deceit and um, all the others that fall into this category. Lah. Right. And um, Sedania is, actually has a lot of experience in Islamic finance. Mm -hmm. Previously, they actually have this product called Asidic, which is a tawaruk. They actually provide tawaruk for um, Islamic banks. Okay. And what this is, is you know how most Islamic banks use commodity to mm. back their loans? Yes. So um, Asidic uses Telco airtime trading, which is a form of a digital commodity. Mm -hmm. And since it's a digital commodity, it means that everything is real time. So that means that loan disbursement should be faster. I think uh, Nisa, the CEO, mentions to me that it could be as fast as 15 to 30 minutes. Right. So they have experience in this um, for a long time, but it's B2B business. Mm. So what they're trying to do here is to do B2C now that they, are, they think that they're ready to provide this truly halal platform. So, you know, Asidic, newest kid on the fintech block, but what exactly do they bring to the table? Right now, currently, it allows you to apply for personal loans and credit cards. Mm -hmm. And in the future, they do want to um, allow you to apply for a lot of other banking products as well, okay. uh, which may include mortgages and factoring products. Mm -hmm. But it's all still within the pipeline, like there's no real timeline yet okay. because there are a lot of other hurdles that they have to pass through, uh, such as looking for more banking partners because they need to have more mm -hmm. and also to, um, to get through the hurdle of um, regulations. You mentioned hurdles, right? Mm. To really make a mark, it means they need to get banks on board, but mm. they acknowledge this as one of the challenges that they have. But you know what? What are they doing to address this? Yeah. So what um, what the CEO told me is that it can get quite difficult to get banks on board simply because they don't understand what the platform is mm -hmm. actually bringing to the table, right? So um, when Nisa tries to explain to the banks what they are bringing to them, mm -hmm. um, what they always say is you are you do not have a lot of um, millennial consumers. Okay. What you have. It's the parents of the millennials. Mm. So since the target market for Acidic is the millennials themselves, um, I think Nisa gave the example of young adults who had just started working right. and they want to get married. That means that they need funding. So where do they go? Mm -hmm. They probably would not go straight to the Islamic banks. They would probably go to the fintech platforms because it's to do easy. Their research. Yes, okay. you can research beforehand. You can Google it and it will do the job for you because that's what Acidic does, right? They pre-vet the applications Correct. before they send it to banks. You only need to upload all of the documents mm -hmm. and you say how much um, funds you want, for example, and then they will do the rest for you and then you only need to um, answer the call by the banks for the KYC um, procedure. Yeah, I mean, it's a win-win situation for both borrowers and the banks, right? Yes. Yeah. But anyway, you know, there's no denying that there is potential for Islamic fintech, but what is Sedania, you know, the company that introduced Asidix? What's their long-term plan? So their long-term plan, at least for now, mm -hmm. is to grow Asidix as a platform because um, this is the first, right? Yeah. There's still a lot more things that they can do. Um, for example, if I recall correctly, um, uh, Nisa said that they want to introduce Takaful early next year. Okay. But the problem with that is regulations. Hmm. So as long as they are able to address that problem, um, they would um, start allowing people to uh, apply for Takaful on mm -hmm. the platform. And the other products that I mentioned earlier, once they grow this, then they will start thinking about the others. I did ask them if they are able to create a city, then they, that means that they are able to create a new bank as well, right? They yeah. are so well versed in the digital, in the in the Islamic banking, um, but they say that they had no intention, no, be no intention to become okay. a new bank. They are very much still mostly an entity that wants to closely work together okay. with the Islamic banks and not try to be an they Islamic want, bank uh, themselves. For more on the stories, pick up a copy of the Age Weekly at all good newsstands.